So today is Jordan release Wednesday. That's crazy because we usually get Jordan releases on Saturday, but the frequency of Jordan brand releasing shoes, they got to select a different date. And that's why we're here today on a Wednesday. Let's go inside the stores and see what's popping. And the shoes that's dropping today are the Air Jordan Flint Gray. Personally, I think they should have called them the Crew Grays or maybe the Wu Grays. What y'all thought? mad at these 14s. However, why are they calling them the Flints, man? What's up, bro? It's chill and chill. I'm just making a video real quick. Yeah, yeah you yeah. want me to check a size for you? Just let me know. Uh, uh, yeah, actually bring a 12 out? Yeah, no problem, no problem. Well, we can look to see if they got my size so I can get a true accuracy of the shoe in hand. Size 12, my size. So these are actually my size. Size 12, come with a gray box. What's the retail on them, do you know? The price? Retail, is it 200, do you know? I think they're hitting for $200, man, but here they are, 14s in hand. These are dope, bro. These are dope. They, they make me want to pick up my first GR shoe at retail, man, even though I know these may be available later. I don't know, because they told me they are selling big sizes, like size 12, man, so I don't know. It's one of those things I have to think about, but I do want these, like ASAP Rocky. These are fire. So the actual retail price of those shoes is $210. The new current price of Air Jordans Retros. So right now we're in JD Sports and I had to pull up to see what they look like in here and see how well they're doing. Um, the guy who was in front of me in line actually bought a pair. I had to return something something that didn't fit. I knew better, but I still try to buy it anyways. It didn't work out, but he bought these. These joints are him for 210 here as well. I never went over the details on this shoe in the previous store, but it's a shaggy suede on the toe box region. Got new buck on the side panels and back heel area. Predominantly all gray. You guys know why they call it the 14s, right? Because there's 14 Jordan logos on here. A total of seven on each shoe, which total 14. Jordans on both. It's not reason why they call 14s, but it's just like a little hidden feature. And unfortunately, here are all the Jordans that's been sitting for the last couple of weeks. Like these yellow orcas. I think this came out in 2024. These yellow orcas still in the building. These Jordan 5 green olives still here. I think it's a dope shoe. I like it. These Jordan 3s, Kraft, Ivories, dope. I like. I love that hit in the back heel. Still available. These Jordan 3 Spring Glows came out last week. Obviously, they're still available. Let's not forget the Yellow Orchid Air Jordan 1, which is currently on sale for $155. Cannot beat it. And then these Black and Whites, still here. But no one's buying these, though, and they're not on sale. And obviously, we got these today, hitting for $210. Of all these retros, which shoe are you projecting to go on sale first? Are we talking about the Green Gold 3s, the Ivories, the Green Olives, the Orchids? I'm suspecting those first. Look at shoe. So we visit two stores and it's still available. The Air Jordan 14s, Flint Grays. I'm still curious, why are they considered the Flint? Shouldn't it be called the Cool Grays? That's the name I would've went with. So now we're gonna hike across the mall and visit the other sneaker stores. We got two of them in the building. Excuse me. We got Foot Locker and Shoe Palace. Now I'm good. Thank you though. But I doubt the second Foot Locker have the 14s. But we'll find out here shortly. And I do got it. Here they go. The Air Jordan 14s. Damn, I misspoke. I thought there wasn't gonna have it here, but it do. Then for the same price, 210 in the building. These are dope. I'm really, really liking these. The more I see them in person at hand, I'm like, I gotta get them. But do I wait for them to go on sale? Do you think they're gonna sell out? I have a homie whose birthday's today, and 14s is his favorite shoe. And he's not waiting. He's copping ASAP Rocky. And I can't blame him, man, because I think I will pull the trigger if I like this shoe as much as he does. 14s don't get that much love, but I think the execution on this, the colorway, it's something I don't have. I mean, the cool gray 11s is cool, but these are different, these are different. I like them, but for 210, comment down below. What would you guys do? Do you think this is worth retail or you think I should wait? Even though we know the climate of the Air Jordans currently, every shoe is sitting and I'm suspecting these, but for how long? And we got the usual suspects in the building, like we just saw in JD Sports. We got the threes, both the Kraft and Glow Greens. And we got the ones. We also got the yellow Oprahs and the Gore-Tex. And there was a new Gore-Tex that just recently came out as well. Can't forget these fives. And I do like these fives too as well, man. 
this is high on my radar for this year as well. Speaking of fives. I forgot to do my on feet and foot locker, so now I'm at the hospital doing it. Those was the Air Jordan 5 black metallic. I copped them back in 2016. They're fire. A lot of people passed up on them. That shoe sat. Speaking of sitting, why are these still here? Why are these grad twos still here? They're going for $230, or rather $229.99. And I found them. They're here. They're right cheer. Are you guys surprised? <laughs> they're everywhere, man, even in Shoe Palace. Been to Two Foot Lockers at JD Sports, and now we're here. And they're going for $209.99. Buy a shoe I do like. Anyways, man, comment down below. These shoes look like they're widely available. Pick it up day one. Is it something you're going to pass on? You wait for it to go on sale, or you waiting for it to hit the outlet? Y'all comment down below. You let me know, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Damn. Oh, I forgot the elephant in the room. <laughs> Not so fast. The grad twos, why are these still here? I'm curious to see if they got a full size run. I will act in case you guys missed out and you need it. I don't know how, because these was in the outlets. They were widely available after release. Here we are in March, damn near four months after release, and it's still available. At least there's gotta be a restock. But let me acquire it and I'll let you know if I end this video. So these are in the building. They're hitting for 230 and they have big sizes as well. So if you live in Orlando, Central Florida area, pull up to the Florida Mall. If you're looking for yourself a pair of grad two 11. These joints came out four months ago and it looked like they got a restock. Stop. If you guys don't get this, maybe you can get the your pick. All right, guys, before I get out of here, man, I'm gonna take you over to the sales section. This, this is the basketball shelves of nothing but Nike basketball, and they got a few shoes on sale. These joints has dropped tremendously. These joints are here for 129 dollars that's crazy this is a 250 dollars shoe then we got the pennies next i think it's like a buck 60 and now it's dropped to 109 and what about the green joints these are hitting for 100 beans if you're interested and i'm curious to know how much these are going for these lebron 21s in that volt colorway they're hitting for 139.99 zoom free fives team banks you got some forces going for 49 we got all different flavors and they got these Giannis's. These is Zoom Freak 4s for 50 beans. I think I got that colorway. And the bottom row, we got the LeBron 21s in all purple. And that joint's hitting for, I think, 120, nope, 100 beans, y'all. $100 for those. These are hitting for 129. These are LeBron 20s. That's crazy. These are older than those, but those are less than those. And speaking of old, these joints are old. These are like the 19 lows, I'm not mistaken. They're going for $100. Still price in my opinion. They even got the books in the building. These are Devin Booker 1s. I like the play on that though, man. I like the logo too. That's kind of dope. They're hitting for $140. The question is, is this a good basketball shoe? I don't know. I don't own a pair. I like that also though. But anyways, man, we got to pull up to Champ Sports before I get out of here because I do got that doctor's appointment visit. And let's see if they got the 14s. So they don't have them. But I was told that the Air Jordan 9's UNC Blue is coming out Saturday. So I'll be back in the mall on Saturday to take a look at that shoe. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just walking through Foot Locker and I'm getting out of here. What up, what up, fellas? So once again, we came to the end of the video. It's a wrap for those Air Jordan 14, at least for the vlog, not the shoe. The shoe, I have no idea. I haven't assessed the fact if they're going to be available in a few months. Are they going to be in the foot traffic sites in two or three months? Does it have the potential to sell out? And I think it does. I think it's a dope shoe. I would love to have it. Do I want to pay that retail at the moment? Probably not, especially when I know I could probably get it a little cheaper. We'll see. I'll work on that. Maybe that's something I might want to cop in the next week or so below retail. But I was this close of pulling the trigger on some GRs for full price. Since I'm downtown Orlando, might as well pull up to the trophy room, see what's popping in there, see what shoes they got, what shoes I missed during the last release. I literally tried to end this vlog like three times. <laughs> so I'm in the trophy room. Obviously, all stores dropped their pairs today. They're in the building. And downtown, they're here for the same price, 210. But not only that, they also got Air Jordan ships, Awake New York. They're in the building, tan, red. And they also said they got the clothing to it. Now, how many of y'all went after this on the sneakers, man? I know the only ones in neighborhood stores. Trophy room, I think, Men's Closet in my area only got these. And they're hitting for a buck 50. About show me some pants. So these are the joints right here. Jordan Jumpman Awake. 
on the left pocket or below the pocket. Oh, and I got some embroidered. Oh, it's embroidered jump man in old English. That's different. It's hard to distinguish what color this is. On camera, it's showing up like navy blue. In person, it looks black, but it could be a wash. We just know the Awake and Jordan jump man's in red. The quality is phenomenal. It's about 13 ounces. Oh, yeah. Got the old English Jordan wrap on top of the hood. That's dope. And in the back, they got a little authentication tag where it says Authentic Awake NYC on the back. What this run for, you know? And it retails for a buck fifty. So the wig hoodie and the joggers both in for the same price of buck fifty. Pull up if you look in the comments, they got the whole set. And it's still got the shirt from town merch as well. The white shirt, the red shirt, the jacket to match, and you got the hoodie. I do love the hoodie. And this is for the most recent release, the rookie card. And they still got both colors in the building y'all looking for. Either or. Let's not forget the shirt. Anyone a copy of the merch? I think this was their first priority. This one right here. All right, yo. So it's a wrap. This is the end of the video. Peace.